Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Nashukuru Mungu kukuona asubuhi ya leo. Nashukuru Mungu Bwana amekulinda, amekuhifadhi na ametupatia nafasi nyingine na nafurahia Bwana kwamba tuko katika uwepo wake siku ya leo. I want us to open our Bibles as I prepare to share the word of God this morning. Na ninataka kuamini kwamba Bwana ataenda kukubariki kwa njia ya kipekee na ninaomba utayarishe moyo wako ili Bwana akuhudumie. Let us open our Bibles in the book of Mark chapter 10 verse 46 to 52. Mark chapter 10 verse 46 to 52. Nataka tuombe pamoja inapoanza kushiriki neno la Mungu. Father in Jesus name, we thank you for your word is life. And Lord, our hearts are open to you once more to listen to your word as you speak and as you minister to us. We bless you, Lord, and we appreciate you because you are faithful and there is none like you. Receive all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Basi na shukuru mungu kwa nafasi hii. Na naomba tu umuevie jirani yako. The only thing we can do now is wave at our neighbors. Just wave at, at your neighbor. Muinulie mkono. Mpungie mkono. Muambie hallelujah kama unaweza. Sema tu hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God because he is here together with us. Siku moja tutatoa hizo mask. Na tutaendelea kumsifu bwana bila mask. Bwana siwe sana. Lakini mask ama bila tutaendelea kulitukuza jina la bwana. Maana ni mwaminifu siku zote. Basi nataka kuingia, kuingia katika neno la Mungu katika hicho kitabu cha Luke uh, Mark chapter 10 verse 46 inasema hivi. When they came to the town of Jericho as Jesus was living there with his followers and a great many people, a blind beggar named Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus. Bartimaeus means son of Timaeus. Amamwana wa Timayo was sitting by the road. When he heard that Jesus from Nazareth was walking by, he began to shout. That is very important. When he heard, he began to shout. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many people, that is also important to note, many people want the blind man to be quiet, but he shouted even more. Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, tell the man to come here. So they called the blind man saying, cheer up, take courage, Get to your feet, Jesus is calling you. The blind man jumped up, left his coat there, and went to Jesus. Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man answered, teacher, I want to see. Jesus said, go, you are healed, healed because you believed. At once the man could see, and he followed Jesus on the road. In the Bible, the message I want to share today is called Seize the Moment. Or size, whichever way you want to pronounce it, the moment. Which means to take full advantage of lives of opportunity, lives opportunities. Ama kushika nafasi ambazo zinapatikana katika maisha. Na siyo kushika tu. Lakini ni kama kunyakuwa kwa nguvu ama kugrab kwa lugha nyingine whenever and wherever they present themselves or to live life to one's full potential. Utagundua kwamba katika maisha 
maisha yetu yamejaa it's a product of either missed or received and grabbed opportunities maisha yako vile ilivyo vile maisha yangu ilivyo imejumrisha ime nafasi ambazo zilipatikana katika maisha ambazo nilikamata ama zile ambazo niliweza kuachilia na hakuna mtu ambaye katika maisha anaweza sema alikamata nafasi zote zile ambazo zilikuja kuna watu ambao wamepata opportunities na wakazipoteza na wengi wetu tumepoteza opportunities but here i am here this morning to share with us ili kwa neema ya Mungu usipoteze opportunity tena bwana siwe sana usipoteze opportunity tena Tunamuona mtu ambaye anaitwa Blind but Mouse lakini kabla aniende kwake nataka nikukumbushe mtu mwingine ambaye alikuwa mfalme Elisha alikuwa karibu kufa na wakati huyo mfalme alipokea habari kwamba Elisha ako karibu kufa Biblia inasema kwamba akaenda kwake na akamwambia Elisha akamuita Elisha akamwambia wewe ndio majeshi ya Israeli ni kama wewe umesimamia majeshi yote ya Israeli akamwambia Elisha akamwambia toa mshale akatoa mshale Alipotoa mshale akamwambia piga huo mshale chini akapiga mshale chini akamwambia the arrow of God's victory huo ni mshale wa ushindi wa Mungu akamwambia chukua mshale na akamwambia fungua dirisha na ushoot hakumwambia shoot mara ngapi aka shoot mara tatu akamwambia umekosea maana ungeshoot kama mara sita mara tano ungeshinda majeshi ya arami kabisa kabisa so that was an example of a lost opportunity siku moja nikiwa mdogo nilipewa hadithi na mtu na hiyo hadithi ilikuwa inahusu mtu mwingine siku hizo wale ambao hawajaona haya yakifanyika nilipata nikiwa nimeanza kukomaa nilipata watu wanafanya kazi pamoja kwa kijiji mnashikana mnasema leo tunalima shamba ya fulani ya akina fulani vijana wanashikana wanasema leo tunaenda kwa akina Andrew tutalima shamba yao tumalize kesho tunaenda kwa shamba nyingine na kwa hivyo kijana mmoja alikuwa kwa wakati nyakati hizo na ikawa kuna katika zile shughuli za kufanya hivyo ikawa kuna msichana ambaye alimpenda angependa kumuoa na ikawa siku hizo ungetembea kutembea wale wanaelewa siku hizo ungetembea kila mahali any time hata ukitembea kwa kina fulani hakuna mtu anauliza maswali na ikawa kijana ametembea kule amechota maji amekata kuni na mambo kama yale amefanya mambo mengi katika ile boma na anapenda yule msichana lakini hajawahi sema chochote sasa ikafika wakati ikawa proposal imefanywa na mtu mwingine kwa yule msichana na msichana akakubali na wakati sasa mambo ya kuitana harusi likaribia alipoitia yule kijana harusi kijana hakuwa amewahi kusikia kitu kama hicho kwa sababu msichana aliweka ikiwa imefichika alipomwalika harusi kijana akamuuliza yani zile kuni zote nimekatakata hapa kwenu ile maji yote nimechota hakuna kitu ulifikiria hakuna kitu ulishika akamwambia kwa sababu hukusema chochote mimi sikushika chochote that was a missed opportunity na kwa hivyo siku ya leo ninataka tuone kuhusu mtu ambaye anaitwa Blind Bartimaeus ambaye alikataa kuachilia nafasi iponyoke Bwana asiye sana. Alikataa kuachilia nafasi iponyoke. Kwa sababu hata Biblia inasema kwamba aliitanishwa na baba yake. He did not even deserve to have a name himself. Kwa sababu hakuwa na heshima yoyote, hakuna kitu Blind Bartimaeus alikuwa nayo ya ku deserve kupokea uponyaji. Anaitwa Bartimaeus son of Timayo badala ya kuitwa jina lake mwenyewe anaitwa mwana wa fulani lakini siku moja akapata kusikia kwamba Yesu anapita and that was all but Myos needed he could not even see alisikia sifa kwamba huyo anayepita ni Yesu na biblia inasema akashout na alipo shout 
Yesu wakasimama. Lakini kabla ya Yesu kusimama, watu wengi wakataka kumzuilia na wakamwambia, "Bati mayo wachana na mambo mengi, wachana na Yesu waendelee." Lakini Biblia inasema he shouted all the more. He continued to shout all the more. Na baadaye Yesu akasimama na akamuita. Bwana asifiwe sana. For blind but miles, it was like Jesus would never come again. Na ninataka kusema hivi, for somebody who will catch his opportunities, lazima uchukue hiyo nafasi kama hautawahi pata nyingine tena. Bwana asifiwe sana kama utapata nafasi katika maisha na kama vile nimeanza life beckons to us through opportunities maisha ama lugha ya maisha yetu kuongea na sisi ni kupitia opportunities life is even now as i'm talking to you is speaking to you kuna mtu ambaye amekaa hapa na maisha inakuongelesha kupitia nafasi ya kuokoka salvation is an opportunity we grabbed kuokoka kwangu ni nafasi nilipata nikakamata sikujua inanifungulia nini lakini imenifungulia mambo mengi baadaye bwana asifiwe sana life even now as i speak to you life is still speaking to you through opportunities praise the lord basi batimayo akafanya hivyo na nataka niseme mambo kadhaa nikiendelea maisha Nimesema it speaks to us through opportunity but life happens to us in three levels somebody said this sio mimi originally nimesema hivi lakini life happens to us in three levels and every one of us ako katika level moja ya hizi level ya kwanza na batimayo alipitia hizo three levels ni level ya survival bwana asifiwe sana level ya survival Kwa mfano kwa mtu ambaye anafanya kazi ya maisha level ya survival ni mahali ambapo you are ile ile wazungu wanasema from paycheck to paycheck ama kwa lugha nyingine wanasema from hand to mouth kile ambacho unapokea unakula na unangojea kile kingine ambacho utalipwa next time That is the level of survival. Na kuna mtu ambaye katika maisha ako pale. But let me say this. Sio dhambi kuwa pale. Sio dhambi. Lakini ni, ni kinacho ninachotaka ku discourage ni kuwa uko pale na umetosheka. Bwana asifiwe sana. Do you know it is one thing to be in an unfortunate position but it's another thing to be there and be content. Kuna mtu wako mahali lakini anasema hapa mahali nimekaa si pangu ni tahama. Bwana asifiwe sana. Sipapendi, si mahali pazuri lakini niko kwenye safari ninahama. Inawezekana uwe uko mahali ambapo unapata mshahara na unakula yote maana ni kidogo. Lakini ndani yako kuna kitu kinasema ni tahama siku moja. Bwana asifiwe sana. Blind but Myers naamini alikuwa na hiyo hali katika moyo wake. Alikuwa anasema niko mahali hapa sioni lakini nafasi ikipatikana sitaipoteza. You can be in an unfortunate position but you're saying in your heart I am moving out of where I am. Praise God. Sasa kuna maisha kuna hiyo level ya survival. Katika mtu wa kiroho level ya survival naweza kuita gani? Kuna watu huwa wanaomba maombi ya the Lord's prayer peke yake. Bwana asifiwe sana. Anaomba maombi ya the Lord's prayer. Lakini si mbaya kama ndio unaomba na uliokoka jana. Lakini kabla ya mwaka uishe badilisha enda level nyingine. Praise God. Achana na the Lord's prayer enda kwa level nyingine. Just be growing. The other level is the level of success. The level of success. Unapohama na unatoka level ya survival unaingia level ambayo inaitwa success ama tunaweza kuita success. Na hapo ni, ni mahali ambapo sasa kama ni maisha ya kawaida uko na chakula, kama ni kusafiri ukitaka kusafiri unaweza safiri vizuri, kama ni watoto unasomesha vizuri bila bila mateso yoyote. 
una maisha yako yanaendelea vizuri na watu wengi wakikuangalia wanaweza tamani kuwa kama wewe but there is another level and that is where i want us to talk about level ya success ukiweza kulinganisha na biblia ni kama luke unaweza andika luke chapter 12 verse 16 to 21 kuna mtu ambaye ali, ali pata chakula kingi na akasema hivi ndivyo nitakavyofanya nitaweza kujenga magara mahali ambapo nitaweka chakula na nikishaweka chakula nitafurahia maisha maana niko na chakula cha kunitosha miaka mingi na Yesu akamwambia Yesu alipeana mfano huu akasema lakini Mungu akamuongelesha akamwambia ole wako maana leo utachukuliwa kwenda mbinguni the other level which I want us to talk about a little bit more is the level of significance the level of significance kwa mtu ambaye atashika opportunities ambazo zitafanya utofauti katika maisha yake you must get to this level what is the level of significance this is where you are willing to make a difference in the lives of others bwana siwe sana umeacha kutosheka maana uko na chakula na uko na kila kitu lakini kuna kitu kinakusukuma huko ndani na kinakwambia lazima ufanye tofauti katika maisha ya wengine and let me say this unapofika hii level hapa ndiyo mashetani wote huachiliwa kupigana na wewe watu hawakuwa na shida na batimayo wakati hakuwa ana shout ili apone Alikaa pale na aliomba pesa miaka mingi. Actually ninaamini hata watu wengine ambao walikuwa namzuilia kunyakuwa hiyo nafasi, walikuwa wamempatia pesa. Mbeleni hawakuwa na shida na yeye. Lakini wakati Batimayo alianza kusema, "Bwana, nihurumie, Yesu nisaidie." Watu wakaanza kupigana na yeye. This is where you will experience most of your battles. Nobody had a problem with Moses when he was comfortable in the palace. They had a problem with him wakati alianza kusema ninataka kukomboa wana wa Israeli. People will fight you when you want to make a difference in the lives of others. Bwana siwe sana. Lakini lazima umwambie Bwana nitaingia kwa level ya significance. I must become significant. Let me say this. This is where your purpose unfolds. Hakuna mtu ako hapa bila sababu. Kila mtu ambaye uliumbwa na uko duniani hata kama haujui ulizaliwa namna gani because sometimes we don't know unajaribu kuulizia Lakini wacha nikwambie God knows and he knew you are coming you did not surprise God Bwana asiwe sana Na mtu alisema unaweza kuwa uli surprise wazazi wako lakini hauku surprise Mungu Mungu alikuwa anakungojea Praise God na sasa basi lazima uingie mahali pa significant and you must grab the opportunity you must grab the opportunity siku moja kijana mmoja alitaka kumuoa binti fulani ya tajiri fulani na huyo tajiri akasema there is only one condition i will give you ambao nimepeana kwa wote ambao wanataka kumuoa huyu msichana na condition ambayo nitakupatia ni kwamba nitaachilia dume watatu. Na ukiweza kumshika yule kijana ataweza kumshika huyo dume mkia mmoja tu katikati ya hawa dume huyo kijana nitamruhusu awe msichana wangu. Na kwa hivyo kijana maana alikuwa ameamua akaenda na aka, na, na akasimama mahali ambapo dume watatokea akaonyeshwa mlango ndiyo ile na dume watatokea mahali pale na dume wa kwanza akaachiliwa lakini hajawahi ona dume wa kutisha hivyo na kwa hivyo kijana amesimama ako tayari kushika mkia wa yule dume lakini alipoona vile dume anakaa akasema wacha huyo dume aende wacha nitashika wa pili akaachilia huyo dume akaenda Alipofunguliwa dume wa pili sasa yule sijui si kama mmewahi ku watch ile program ya, ya dume wakipigana bullfighting mmewahi ku watch 
Wewe wacheni kukaa kama nyinyi si wa Kenya. <laughs> Bwana siwe sana. Mnajua halwale? Mnajua halwale? <laughs> Mnajua anapenda bull fighting. Sasa wakati dume hawa dume wanapigana siku na nyingine huwa wanafanya fujo kiasi. Sasa dume wa pili wachana sura mbaya hata akafanya fujo kiasi. Jamaa akasema wacha ningojee watatu. Wacha huyu aende. Watatu wanaweza kuwa mzuri zaidi. Sasa dume watatu akaachiliwa. Na dume watatu alikuwa amekonda. Alikuwa hasi, hana sira ya, sura ya kutisha. Lakini jamaa akasema huyu lazima nitamshika. Huyu lazima nitamshika. Na akasimama mahali pazuri pa kushika yule dume. Na wakati dume alikuja jamaa akaruka na akashika mkia. Makosa tu ni hii. Dume hakuwa na mkia. Bwana siwe sana. <laughs> hakuwa na mkia. Nataka kukwambia hivi. Lazima uamue kwamba utashika nafasi ambazo Mungu amekupatia. Bwana siwe sana. And you must catch them early. Be like blind but miles. But miles alisema ni pone leo ama leo. Bwana siwe sana. Ninapona leo ama leo. Hii nafasi ambayo nimeshika inaweza kaa kama ni kidogo. Inaweza kuwa kama inatisha. Lakini hii sitaachilia. Nataka nikwambie mahali umeshika katika Mungu, kataa kuachilia. Mahali ambapo umeshika hata katika maisha, lazima ukatae kuachilia. Na nataka nikwambie where you are holding and it is significant, it is a place of significant you will be fought. Lazima vita zitakuja. I don't want to tell you how to pigana. Vita zitakuja. Vita zitakuja. Wakati watu wameokoka, vita hutokea. Kama unakutana na vita kwa sababu umeokoka, you are in the right place. You are in the right company. Maana shetani anajua kitu hatua ya kwanza ya significance ni wokovu. Kama kuna mtu atakuwa wa maana Wachana na maana ya dunia. Maana Yesu alisema hivi. How, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and later loses his life? Inawezekana uwe unatafuta maana katika hii dunia na ni vizuri kuwa mtu wa maana katika dunia. Lakini hakuna vita shetani atapigana kubwa kama wakati umeokoka. Maana anajua mtu yote ambaye atakuwa significant lazima kitu cha kwanza aokoke. Bwana asifiwe sana. Because your purpose begins with salvation. Na ndio nataka naona hii service tumechanganyikana vijana kwa watu wazima. Nataka kuchallenge vijana wetu wacha tushikilie wokovu kwa kumaanisha. Bwana siwe sana. Let us be serious with salvation. Mimi kama sio wokovu ningekuwa nimekufa. Na sio ku, I am not exaggerating. I know what I'm talking about. Kama sio wokovu ningekuwa nimekufa. Na nataka ni kusistizie wewe kijana mdogo. Kama kuna kitu nitaku encourage ushikilie, shikilia wokovu. Bwana siwe sana. Na ushikilie kwa kumaanisha. That is an, an opportunity. It is a lifetime opportunity. Na itakupeleka mbali. Kuwa msomi wa Biblia, jiombe. Fuata mambo ya wokovu. Penda mambo ya wokovu. Wacha kuyachukua kama ni kitu tu ume, u, 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 unachukua ovyo ovyo. Unaweza, unajua, tulikuwa tunaimbiwa wimbo. Unaweza kuchukua wakovu kama gambut. Unajua gambut ni season, isn't it? Zinavaliwa wakati wa mvua. Ama wakati unaenda mahali una, unafanya kazi ngumu. Lakini chukulia wokovu kama ni lifestyle. Wacha vitu zingine zininginie. Lakini wokovu isininginie. Bwana suwe sana. And you will not regret Basi, significance, that is where the real battle is. Lakini niseme hivi, hii ndio ita could define. All the other levels will not define you. Success, watu wengi wamefanikiwa. Sinikweli. Kama ni, kama ni kusurvive, watu wengi wamesurvive. Ata, ata siku hizi tunaita kwa lugha ingine, tunaita kuhasu, isn't it? Watu wengi wanahasu. Sawa, sawa. Lakini kama kuna kitu itakudefine kama mama Sofia it is significant because that is where your purpose is. Na purpose yako mama Sofia haifanani na ya mzee. 
ni tofauti. Kwa hivyo kama tunataka kuona Mama Sofia mwenye Mungu aliumba, tutampata kwa level ya significance. That is where you must get there. Bwana asifiwe sana. Naendelea kumalizia. Biblia inasema hivi at the level of significance. When you do things Philippians 2 verse 3 to 4 andika utasoma baadaye. Inasema hivi when you do things do not let selfishness or pride be your guide. Instead be humble and give more honor, regard or value to others than to yourself. Do not be interested only in your own life, but be interested in the lives of others. That is Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 to 4. Now, this is very key as I finish. Mana, for you to seize the moment, you have to operate through insight as opposed to eyesight. Blind but miles hakuwa na eyesight hakuwa naweza kuona na kuna watu ambao walikaa katikati ya Yesu na watu wa Yesu lakini hawakupokea zile blind but miles alipokea kwa sababu gani maana blind but miles hata kama hakuwa na eyesight alikuwa na kitu inaitwa insight let me say this for somebody to grab opportunities, key opportunities in life, ata kama hawoni kwa macho, lakini utapata kama uko na insight. Wana suwe sana. And I want to take you through the life of Blight Batmaios, ili uone zile insight ambazo alikuwa nazo, ambazo ni muhimu ushike. Number one, Blight Batmaios had insight that disability does not hinder other abilities. Bwana suwe sana. He could understand, he had insight that disability cannot hinder other abilities. Na nataka ni kuambie hivi, ata kama kuna vitu hawezi fanya, kuna vitu unaweza fanya. Praise God. Ata kama umelemewa na kila kitu, there is something that you can do. Nandiyo maana muandishu wa Zaburi ya lisema, the gift of a man makes a way for him. Na inamketisha kwa wafalme. Na wacha ni kuambie, hakuna mtu hajapewa kitu na mungu. Ata kama zingine ya kazi, kuna moja inaweza kukufungulia mlango. Kuketi na wafalme. Bwana suwe sana. Blight but miles haku wanaona, lakini alikuwa naweza kushout. He could shout. Ukiangalia katika kitabu cha... cha First Samuel chapter 17 kuna jamaa mwingine ambaye alikuwa anaitwa Daudi. Daudi alishindwa kuvaa ukiangalia verse 39 to 40. Alishindwa kuvaa nguo za mfalme. Alipovalishwa akashindwa kutembea nazo. Hata akasema wacha nitoe hizi. Lakini kuna kitu Daudi alikuwa anaweza kufanya. Alienda akainua mawe na akatumia mawe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haingeweleka kwa lugha ya vita vile anaweza pigana na mawe lakini Daudi alisema siwezi hizi zingine nitatumia kile ninaweza natafuta mtu ambaye anasema siwezi hii na siwezi hii lakini kuna kitu ninaweza that person can seize an opportunity bwana asifiwe sana number 2 insight number 2 ambayo blind but myers alikuwa nayo alikuwa na discontentment na hali yake bwana asifiwe sana alikata kutosheka kwa hiyo hali yake na hiyo discontentment lazima mtu ambaye atanyakuwa nafasi awe na kukataa kutosheka mahali yuko praise god na adui mbaya wa maisha ya mtu kama success ile ulipata jana Maana success ya jana watu wengi wanatosheka nayo wanakataa ku succeed leo. Na kwa hivyo kama utanyakuwa nafasi lazima uwe na discontentment ambayo tunaweza kuita contentment, holy discontentment. <laughs> unaweza kuita hivyo. Na ndio utaona blind but myos alikataa kutosheka hapo. Na akasema Bwana nisaidie. David 
pia ninamtumia sana nikimlinganisha na Batmayos hata yeye alikataa kutosheka maana wakati alikuja akakuta majeshi wametukanwa na wako sawa yeye alisema hamata tukana tena watu wa Mungu sitakubali watukane tena watu wa Mungu so holy discontentment is not necessarily evil and let me say this every godly vision is a sister to holy discontentment kila mtu ambaye ana maono ya kiungu kuna kitu kilikataa kumtoshelesha kuna kitu kilimkasirisha kuna kitu alisema hapana mambo haitaendelea hivyo number three, another insight ya batumayo my desire or your desire must be stronger than your discouragement bwana asifiwe sana ile shauku ya kutamani kitu kifanyike lazima iwe na nguvu kuliko zile vitu zinapigana na wewe maana kama haina nguvu lazima utaondoshwa na zile vitu zinakudiscourage you must get to a place where your desire to succeed must be stronger than your discouragement another thing that is also important another insight na hiyo unaweza linganisha na 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 28 to 29 hapo ni mahali ambapo ndugu ya, ya David anam discourage lakini David akakataa kuwa discouraged number 4 insight number 4 this man knew he was created for more than survival you must know that you are created for more than survival bwana asifiwe sana na ndio maana Batumayo alikuwa ameomba pesa si ati hakuwa ameomba pesa alikuwa ameomba pesa siku nyingi na wale watu wa kubeg sijawahi beg lakini ninajua wale watu wa kubeg wakati mwingine ni kama wanabiashara isn't it mwanabiashara kuna mteja atakuja na uone huyu mteja Leonard huyu mteja huyu mteja, mteja atanipeleka vizuri bwana siwe sana i believe beggars pia wako na na, na insight kama hiyo kuna mtu wanaangalia wanasema huyu huyu lazima niombe kwa ni, lazima nitumie ile sura yote ninaweza tumia ndio aniachilie kitu lakini hiyo siku blind but miles alikuwa it's not normal bwana asiwe sana huyo sio kawaida this is not about begging this is not about money this is about significance and blind but miles knew one thing number five, precious opportunities are once in a lifetime event bwana asiwe sana Precious opportunities are once in a lifetime event. Na kwa hivyo wakati insight yake ilimwambia this is a precious opportunity akasema sitasimamishwa na yeyote. Lazima ninyakue hii nafasi. Lazima ninyakue hii nafasi. The, the, the second last another insight ambayo alikuwa nayo is that my deficiency will be surpassed by his all sufficiency blind but myos alikuwa anajua hata kama nina upunguvu bwana akinijia atafunika upunguvu wangu bwana siwe sana hata kama nimepungukiwa bwana akija Wacha nimulilie maana akija atafunika aibu yangu atafunika kupungukiwa kwangu atafunika kukosa kwangu nataka niseme hivi nikimalizia bwana akija atafunika upungufu wako bwana siwe sana praise god ukiwa mtu wa kunyakua manafasi your story will have a happy ending inawezekana ikawa imeanza vibaya lakini nataka nikwambie your story will have a happy ending. Nilikuwa ninapenda kusoma novels nikiwa kijana mdogo. Hata saa hii nikipata fiction mzuri, especially Christian fiction ninasoma. Currently kuna ile ninasoma. Inahusu msichana ambaye anaitwa Sale Ro. Na Sale Ro amepitia challenges mingi. But it's Christian fiction. Lakini kuna kitu kimoja nime, ninafanyanga nikisoma kitabu mbaya ambayo inahusu mtu na nimempenda. Huwa ninaangalia anamalizia namna gani. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kwa sababu kuna mahali utasoma 
wale wanasoma vitabu uone kama huyo mtu atakufa na umeshampenda sijui kama wengi wengi wanasoma hapa nikiangalia ni unapenda huyo character unataka kuona atamalizia namna so huwa ninaangalia peji ya mwisho nikiona hajakufa sasa ninasoma bila wasiwasi nataka nikwambie hivi nikimalizia nimeangalia peji ya mwisho ya mwisho kukuhusu bwana asifiwe sana na ninajua utamalizia vyema i know you will finish well najua you are the, the main character you will not die in the process lakini nataka uwe mtu wa kunyakua nafasi be somebody who seizes his opportunities uwe mtu ambaye ananyakua nafasi na anazitumia vizuri bwana asifiwe sana lakini ujue nimeangalia peji ya mwisho na najua Antone unamalizia vyema ninajua mzee Dhande utamalizia vyema maana tumeingia kwa basi ya Yesu Haita tuangusha kabla ya safari kumalizika lakini sisi ni watu wa kunyakua opportunities we will grab our opportunity every opportunity that comes ya kumtumikia Mungu utainyakua na utaitumia vizuri wacha tusilegee kwa kazi ya Mungu na pia wacha tusilegee kwa kazi zetu bwana asifiwe sana nataka tusimame ili niweze kumkaribisha askofu atatupeleka kwa kipindi kingine lakini nataka nimalizie kwa maombi Maybe you are there. Na pengine haujapeana maisha yako kwa Yesu. Nataka tufunge macho sisi wote maana nataka kuomba na mtu ambaye hajampatia Yesu maisha yake. Maybe you are there. You have not given your life to Jesus. Nataka nikupatie nafasi. Umpatie ye, Yesu maisha yako. Ama pengine uko pale lakini ulimpatia Yesu maisha yako lakini kuna baridi baridi imeingia kuna mahali shetani amejipenyesha na unajua kabisa hauna hakika kwamba leo ukifa ama if anything happens ama Yesu akirudi leo wacha nisiseme kufa maana haukufi siwezi kwenda binguni hauna hakika kama utaenda binguni i want to give you this opportunity you raise up your hand It's another opportunity. I'm talking about opportunities and this is another opportunity. God bless you. Nimekuona. Ama kuna mwingine ambaye anasema nataka nilainishe maisha yangu na Yesu. Inua mkono wako. Unaanza weka chini nimeshaona. Mnaweza weka chini nimeshaona. Kuna mwingine ambaye anasema nataka nilainishe maisha yangu na Yesu. Yesu unisaidie. Sitaki nipoteze nafasi hii. Ama mwingine anasema nataka niokoke na nimeona weka chini mkono. God bless you. Kuna mwingine? Kuna mwingine? Basi nataka niombe na hawa wapendwa. Sijui ni nani katikati yao ni kuokoka nataka kuokoka ningependa nione kama kuna yule anaokoka leo. Inua. Sawa. Basi nataka niombe hawa wapendwa. Na pia nataka niombe na wengine ambaye unasema kuna nafasi zimepotea katika maisha yangu lakini ninataka kuomba Bwana anipatie insight kwamba sitapoteza tena I want to pray with those people Inua mkono wako God bless you Let's pray in agreement Father in Jesus name I take this opportunity to commit those dear ones the three of them who have raised their hands because they want to work on their relationship with you and they want to better their relationship with you father lord i pray that you will help them that you grace them by the grace of god by the mercies of god that father the commitment they are making today that commitment shall stand in the name of jesus I want to refuse and bind every spirit of discouragement, every spirit of despair, every spirit of feeling defeated and like giving up. I bind you spirit of backsliding. You have no place in the lives of those dear ones. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you will raise them again. You will renew their strength because they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Father I want to pray for others including me and anybody else who may have missed some opportunities in life 
And Lord, we want to renew our commitment that we will be sharp to detect opportunities. Lord, I pray for the necessary insight that when opportunities come, we will grab them. In the name of Jesus. We are not going to miss any other opportunities. Father, we are not going to miss any other opportunities. Some of us are at the point of discouragement where we are feeling like giving up on some opportunities. Lord, I pray that none of us will give up in the name of Jesus. We bless you, we adore you, and we honor you. For we pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' holy name. Amen.